Hello, and welcome back to Apiary Miner. I really want to thank everyone who's taken the time to subscribe and comment on my last video. Your feedback is very, very helpful and extremely appreciated. I'm going to be needing more of that in these coming videos, for sure. So please stick around. I'm actually going to ask some advice a little bit later on in this video. It's been about a week since I last posted. I went out of town for a holiday and ended up staying a little bit longer than I was initially thinking. You know, what is family? And family's important, guys, family's important. But so is hashing, and I have not been doing very much of that lately. So you can see here, I got some nice new packages, and I am looking forward to sharing my updated farm with you guys today. I gotta run out in just a minute, but later on tonight, hoping I can assemble everything together, get this thing going. So, for starters, I told you I had three different computers to choose from on the motherboard, and I went with this one. This is a gaming computer I found on Craigslist, and it has a Gigabyte X58A with an Intel i7 CPU, 960 at 3.2 gigahertz, I believe. It's complete with uh, one times 16 PCIe slot and three of uh, the times eight and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I think that thing can suit me just fine. Uh, I don't have a power supply button, so I'm probably gonna be running it out of the rig for now. Uh, please comment down below what you guys recommend for a power supply, like an external power supply uh, turn on button. That would be extremely helpful. So out of here, I'm gonna be running these risers right over here, which I ordered off of Amazon and they come with the PCI connectors. They also came with these uh, SATA cables, but I'm not gonna be using those because everyone says you shouldn't. And I also got some PCIe splitters, which I definitely will be needing. Uh, this is a 3060 rig, and I have three 3060s so far, but I'm thinking maybe I'll build up to six. So, I'm realizing these power supplies that I've pulled out of my older computers, they are not going to cut it in the long run. They probably wouldn't even cut it in the short run, so I need to find a new power supply system stat, and that's where I need the YouTube mining community to come through and tell me for a 326 3060 uh, mining rig, what power supply should I buy? I mean, I've been looking into the server power supplies, but honestly, I know they're louder, and I'm running this in a guest bedroom in my house, and I'd rather it not be the loudest thing in the world, but that's the way I gotta go. That's the way I gotta go. So these two guys here are both about 600 watts, and I know they'll run these, but they're not, they don't have the longevity that I'm looking for when I'm actually building this. Oh, you guys, I almost forgot. The piece de resistance, the piece I'm most proud of, is this wooden mining frame that I built with my two hands. Not too shabby. I found a video on YouTube by a guy named AdSense Ninja, who had a nice step-by-step uh, -step video on how to build one of these. So I will put that down below and you guys can follow along if you ever need to build a wood a wood frame like this one. It cost me about 10 bucks in wood. I already had the screws. Um, but I think it'll suit me just fine because it's supposed to hold up to eight GPUs. And I don't think I will be having eight in the very, very near future, but you never know. You never know the way things go. Uh, anyway, I gotta get running. Um, but I will be back later tonight to hopefully pull all of this stuff together and get off to the races. So if this sounds like something you got to follow along with, please subscribe down below. And also, I'd love your comment, I'd love your advice on what I should use for a power supply for this rig. Uh, also, power supply and a power button so I don't have to run it off of my actual metal case anymore. So please comment down below, like and whatnot, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Have a good one.